What's up guys? Welcome to Keto Rewind. It's day five of the Keto Rewind Clean 30 Challenge. How's it going so far? Are you liking these videos? Do you like the way I'm doing it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. So day five is another full day of eating and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing to lose weight and this whole Keto Rewind Clean 30 Challenge is kind of inspired by the way I started my journey back in February 11th, 2019. And I'm basically putting, I went through my phone and tracked all my macros back then. So I'm taking recipes and what I did, all that stuff from back in 2019 um, and made of this meal plan <laughs> um, with my new knowledge, you know, after losing 122 pounds and created this meal plan. So keep it simple, keep it clean, and overall, this should be a great way to teach you how to live the keto lifestyle, to show you how easy it really is, and also my thought processes behind it so it all makes sense. And then the last thing, of course, macros explained. So I'm gonna start off with lunch. Um, remember, I've been doing my intermittent fasting the 16-8, so I break my fast around lunch. Remember that you can put fasting on your own schedule. So if it's easier for you to eat earlier in the day and have breakfast, do breakfast and lunch and skip dinner and fast that time instead of me where I, I just bump the meal. So the main thing is divide your macros into two meals. Um, I just prefer lunch and dinner. It helps um, with the craziness <laughs> and keeping me on track. So that's what works for me, but that doesn't mean that it will work for you. So overall, you do you, and I hope you enjoy this. So let's kick off day five with some lunch. Okay, we're going to do hard-boiled eggs in my air fryer. You can also use an Instant Pot or a tr traditional, um, just put them on the stove top. Um, but I put my air fryer at 260 for 20 to 25 minutes, depending if you want hard hard or soft boiled eggs. Um, but it just it's easy to just pop these in the um, air fryer when I wake up and um, come back and have hard boiled eggs ready to go. So once they're done, um, you can put them in an ice bath and that will make them like peeling them so much easier. Um, but again, you can also use an instant pot or stove top them. Okay, so today's breakfast is really easy. I get these from Costco. They're the same brand that makes the Canadian bacon, um, but it has no sugar. It has great macros, same thing. 10 grams of protein. Um, I'll show you the back of the bag real quick. Clean ingredients, um, and they're fully cooked, so you can either do them on the stove or put them in the microwave. I will probably just do them stove top today. Um, but, so those are the chicken sausage that I recommend. We're gonna do half of this avocado. I have, I'm gonna do a air fryer <laughs> hard boiled egg, but you can do any way to hard boil the eggs. You can even buy them from the store already boiled, hardy boiled. And then lastly, I also make my own nuts. I will post the recipe um, link in the cards down, or up the, at the carbs up here or down below. But basically I take a pound of raw uh, pecans i put butter on them and salt, pink salt so and then that's how i get and i cook them in my oven so check that video out but i want to show you real quick how to um, measure your nuts so one thing i want to say if you work in an office and you need easy lunch you can bring this as is and have it at your your desk or at your conference table whatever it's a great easy on the go lunch that's why i included this recipe so being that these are fully cooked Either pop them in the microwave at work, bring your hard boiled eggs and your half of an avocado and um, nuts as well. Easy to transport and you can make a nice meal prep for this breakfast or lunch. So anyways, so the easiest way to get off track is to not measure. So make sure you measure your nuts. They're calorie dense. And as funny as that sounds, it's true. I have, they're so easy to eat and go down. So make sure you um, measure those out. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and how I prepare the lunch. Okay, so here you can see I have zeroed out the scale. Um, so I'm looking for either 30 grams or an ounce. So I'm gonna have Kyle put my roasted pecans. We're gonna switch this over to ounces. And I'm looking for an ounce. So I measure these out and it's very important that you do this step. And then plus it makes them portable, it makes them easy. Well, there's an ounce. So that's what an ounce or a serving size of 
roasted pecans, roasted and salted pecans. So that is done. Next, we're going to um, take the egg out of the shell and slice up the avocado. Well, we're gonna pop these in the microwave today. Okay, so I just wanna show you how easy it is to peel an egg after you put them in an ice bath, right when they come out of um, cooking or hard boiled eggs. But either way, you just need the hard boiled egg. Um, I just like to do it this way, it's easy for me. Um, me and Kyle are going to split this avocado. I'll have half and he'll have half. So um, you can like dice it up, you can smush it, you can just make it work for you. Kyle's sporting one of my shirts today. <laughs> But take the pit out, dice up, smush, whatever you want of your avocado. It tastes really good with eggs. Um, it just goes well. Um, but I, I'm just going to do slice, like long slices. It looks pretty on the plate. <laughs> um, but you get the idea. Um, and then meanwhile, while these are cooking, I'm just going to throw the uh, chicken sausage in the microwave for about two minutes. And that's how quickly and how easy this lunch is. So definitely use this recipe for a um, on the go or easy just recipe that um, takes really hardly any time to put together. So there's my finished product. There's my avocado, my one ounce of nuts, my three hard boiled eggs. Um, and I will also put pink salt on them and my three sausage links. Okay, so it's dinner time and we're gonna make brisket burgers and steamed broccoli. So. I want to change the camera angle so you can see what I'm doing. So this is a pound of ground brisket. We literally ground up a brisket with a meat grinder, <laughs> but regular ground beef will be fine. Um, it was just one of those times where it was hard to get ground beef um, and they had brisket was on sale, so we just ground it. Um, but you know, you don't need ground brisket, just regular ground beef will be fine. <laughs> I'm putting a little uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and salt and pepper on these burger patties, and I'm gonna form four patties using this one pound of meat. Um, but like I said, swap it for ground turkey, ground chicken, um, you know, just pick something that you enjoy eating, and that's what matters. And then don't forget your pink salt. The pink salt's so important on keto. <laughs> Get all those spices incorporated and then form four patties, roughly the same size, same thickness, so everything cooks evenly. Um, and then set those aside and we will start with the veggies. Okay, so we're gonna make steamed broccoli, the bag of steamed broccoli florets. And I also have a bag that I popped in the freezer um, so it wouldn't spoil. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a combination of the two and about, about uh, 200 grams or so of broccoli for me and for Kyle, and then for the kids, I'll do some as well. So all I'm gonna do is put the frozen broccoli in a pot, throw some water in the bottom, and steam it. Um, it's that easy, and then I'll just top it with butter when it's time to eat, so. And then you can log the broccoli using the barcode. So that makes it real easy to track your macros in Cart Manager. Okay, so my broccoli was bad. So we're gonna improvise and add extra. Um, we're gonna put some baby asparagus, so we're gonna steam asparagus as well. So it's same process, um, but because we're short on broccoli, that's why we're doing um, the asparagus. So, but you're, I'm gonna steam this and steam the broccoli and then when we're all together, I'll show you what I, how I will season it. Okay, so all you're gonna do is uh, there is, I put a half cup of water in here. Let that come to a boil and then I'm gonna add the asparagus. Okay, so my water's boiling for my broccoli. So we're gonna drop the broccoli in there, let that steam. My water, my half cup of water is also boiling for my asparagus. And um, when I do my asparagus, I like to dry them out on the grill. Sometimes, like, you just, it's hard to use frozen um, vegetables and then if you're not just going to, like, steam them. So I feel like I just got to hit that on the grill real quick before we have them. But it, it really just brings out the flavor and makes it a little bit not so, like, mushy. So I just remove them from the pan after four minutes um, and set aside. And then also, same thing with the broccoli. I put two tablespoons of butter in there. 
um, dumped my steamed broccoli, salt it, pepper it, and done, set that aside with the cover on it. Um, or obviously going to mix it too. Um, but just set it aside while the rest of the veggies on the grill are cooking. I mean, we weren't planning on having to grill up <laughs> the asparagus. So, but this is how you just adapt and move on. So next we're going to go to the grill. Okay, so here's the grill. We have the burgers on the grilling mats, of which I really love those grilling mats. It makes the makes for really tasty um, cooking, <laughs> or grilling, I should say. So I got my peppers on one side, and I've got my hamburgers on the other. We're going to flip those, and I also have the asparagus up on top. Don't really want to cook it anymore. I just want it to like dry out so it's not mushy. Um, frozen vegetables are tough to work with. Um, so, but you can bring them back from frozen. Um, I, ideally, I would have used fresh um, asparagus, but there's the burgers. Look how nice that all looks. It cooks in its juices, full of flavor. Um, and then once all of those are, um, both sides are cooked, we're gonna pull them off the grill. But I'm gonna gently just flip over some of the asparagus that need it, and I'll tell you right now, that tastes amazing. <laughs> so definitely grill some asparagus, but ideally you want fresh. I made my own pickles and jalapenos. Um, if you want that recipe, comment below. I should make a whole video about pickling. <laughs> um, and here's the finished product. I have my broccoli that's been steamed with butter. I have my hamburger that's got my fresh, my homemade pickles and jalapenos topped with mustard and grilled, steamed and grilled asparagus. Okay, so let's log breakfast. Um, I should just start calling it lunch. Let's log lunch. So we had three hard boiled eggs, we had three sausage links, we had an ounce of nuts, and we had a half, half of an avocado. So let's go ahead and log that. Eggs are easy. Three hard boiled eggs, there was nothing really involved cooking them. Um, the Haas avocado, being that I have it often, it's always in my recently viewed foods. So I had half of an, a Haas avocado. You could weigh and measure that and all that, but... To save time, we're going to move along. So the new one is you can scan the bag of the sausage links or you can search it. So it's Jones Chicken Sausage. Fully cooked chicken sausage by Jones. That is it. So, um, and I had three links. So we're going to add to today. And then also we had an ounce of nuts. So I, those will be in my... Oops. There it is. And then one ounce of nuts. So that is breakfast. You can see I have three of 19 net carbs, um, eight grams of fiber, 51 grams of 118 grams of fat, 29 grams of 95 grams of protein, and about 600 calories. So while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and log my keto coffee. Um, and that's in my foods. It's, it's a recipe I have all the time. You can check previous videos to see how I create a recipe. Um, but I strongly suggest if you make your coffee the same way every day, save time and make your own little entry. <laughs> see how easy that was? So here we are. So I will be back when it's dinner time. Alrighty, well it's now time to log dinner. So it always starts hitting that plus sign up at the top. <laughs> and then we are going to look for, we're going to see what they have for ground brisket. This is obviously homemade, but there should be um, some ground brisket in here that's the HEB one. That's probably a really good one to start with because we took off um, the fat part of the brisket and just ground up the flat part, if that makes sense. <laughs> if anybody's familiar with brisket. Um, but anyway, so we're going to go with the HEB one. And I did four ounce patties. And then I had broccoli. We were supposed to have a ton of broccoli, but ended up having uh, like a quarter of the amount that I had planned for, but that's okay. So I ended up having 100 grams of that broccoli. And always measure your um, vegetables raw. And then we had steam, or I should say asparagus. I always enter everything um, raw. So I had um, 
Let me look at my notes. Yes, I had 100 grams of asparagus. And now we need to add the fat for those two. So I was, um, we had that broccoli we divided among four of us. So there's grass-fed butter. So so I had a quarter of a teaspoon. So this says one tablespoon, so I need a quarter of that. Um, and then I didn't put anything on the asparagus, but I did add avocado oil to the few vegetables, the peppers I had. Um, so we're gonna search avocado oil. I have the Chosen Foods brand and a, table, a tablespoon. And then I also had green peppers. This was extra because remember I had to uh, make do. So I ended up with 100 grams of peppers. And am I missing anything? I think I got everything. Let me check a check. Okay, so I did pretty good today. Um, okay. <laughs> I accidentally logged. See, it really doesn't matter where you put it. It's just tracking all the foods. But I, I uh, meant to hit dinner and I've logged it into breakfast but don't worry about it you can just leave it all that you could all log it into one entry <laughs> it doesn't matter so anyways um today overall I was a little low on my protein um I have 31 grams of protein left so I next time I should have logged ahead of time I would have known to add um, either a protein shake or a larger pa uh, patty of meat so just keep keep in mind you know I I did good everywhere else, but my areas of improvement today would be either have the bigger serving of a burger or add an egg or have a protein shake as well, because I clearly had room in my macros. But being that I didn't walk today, um, it was a just an office day here. Um, I really had a low activity level. I'm pretty okay with this. So, you know, previous days this week I was over. It pretty much will even out by the end of the week. So... That's all I basically, um, that's how, that's my thoughts about this. <laughs> um, so anyways, that's the macros for today, a full day of eating keto. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed day five of the Keto Rewind Clean 30 Challenge. Um, I will see you tomorrow for day six. We are almost through the week. We've got, we are basically through Friday. So we have day six and seven left of this week, and you will have completed your first week on this lifestyle and I'm super pumped for you. I am so proud of each and every one of you have shared your success stories. Your day one, you're just getting it done and I'm super proud of you. So once again, I'm Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye.